What's up guys, welcome back. Cabin Aaron, or the Aaron in Mikasa's dreams, depending on what you want to name him. So, he's got like short hair, shorter hair. Uh, he's kind of handsome as hell. <laughs> this is how Mikasa sees him. So, <laughs> landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we're going to start with his eyes, those big green eyes, right? So he's in, we're in three-quarter pose. It's a slight three-quarter. So like the eye, his face is kind of turned away from us a little bit. He's like looking down at Picasso. Center point of my page is here. We're going to start eye line, right? So center line halfway on my page. We're going to come up and we're just here. So the eyes to the top of his head, roughly. It's kind of like a, a little hook. And it goes like across this way. Okay. So then it, we've got like a curve line down the back. We have to add eyelashes and thicken everything up, but we'll just do the shape first and then the bottom eyelid line sort of here. Right, so that's like the outline for his eye. So around all this, then there's eyelashes and different sort of eye spikes and all this kind of stuff that anime characters tend to have, right? So this comes up. Maybe you add another little spike here. And then his top eyelid line will go across, right? So this will come across to a spike at the back. So this will be real thin back here, but thick at the front. Okay. So like that, right? So... Okay, and there's another little line here actually, and inside as well, there's eyeball. So the spike at the back here is a little bit thicker too, so like this is like darker. There. Now his eye, so he's kind of like looking that way, so we gotta do that somehow. So a curve, the edge of his eyeball. Now, big green irises, right? So you just got these like brackets or sort of curving lines there. And his eye is kind of an oval shape. It's his pupil, should I say. It's kind of an oval shape. So it's kind of like a long circle. Like there, right? It's not like a perfect shape or anything, even in the anime, the animators who drew this. And like that outer line is kind of thick as well. They give them sort of this thick outline to the eye. And then they have like little sort of iris lines. Okay, and then we got like some eyelid lines coming around here, like wrinkles and stuff. And wrinkles just like around his like cheek and his nose and everything. And then eyelid lines above. So again, these kind of like broken sort of wrinkle lines. And another eyelid line up here just under his eyebrow. So his eyebrows are quite big and and uh, textured, right? So curving there and then around touches his eyelid line. And this will go underneath his hair, but we'll draw in like the whole thing. So it goes like back that way. And then we go back here. Back to a spike probably. And then we add like the texture and everything. his eyebrows have and we have another little frown line here and then we have that attack on titan style hatching that they do so you just have these vertical lines underneath the eyebrow that like act as basically a shadow and it comes up underneath 
there. Nice. So we have the eye, the next eye, right? We're kind of like below this one, right? Because his head is like tilted a little bit. But you're about the width of his eye over, right? For where the next eye probably starts, right? So about there. Okay. So this, see, like what I mean is this width will fit sort of here. And this, this eyelid line will be a little bit lower than this one because his head is tilted this way. So then this just like comes across here and then goes diagonal down to a eyelash spike coming out there. We get the main shape and then we thicken everything up. That spike at the corner and then his bottom eyelid comes across there. Then we have to add like all these eyelash spikes and everything that sort of stick out and thicken up the top eyelid, right? So just darkening this up. Another little sort of eyelash line that comes off this side. And then this spike at the back sort of is quite dark as well. So his iris. these sort of thick bracket sort of lines, dark. And then he's got like an oval that's kind of looking this direction and down, right? So you could do it sort of here. Right, so kind of and then iris lines inside and then some bags and stuff underneath his eyes wrinkles and sort of eyelid lines and stuff and an eyelid line on top here and then hairy eyebrow again so like this one curves down it's smaller because we're in three quarter so it doesn't go as long So when you're in three quarter pose, the side of the face that's turned away from you, the, the objects on this side, to make them appear like they're further away from us, you gotta like draw them smaller. So it's like a little bit of forced perspective. It's just like an illusion. It's like a magic trick. So that eyebrow is about three quarters the size of that one. So then we have his nose line just curving down here. Right, so it comes from like a frown sort of area. And then it goes in. And then down to there. And then just below this line, we have a nostril up and down. And then one that's kind of longer on this side, right? So it goes up, but it goes long to make it seem like it's bigger right and then there's all attack on titan sort of hatching lines just on the side of his cheek and his nose and coming up the eye here so this is all in shadow and you just add all these Like that. So below the nose we have his mouth. So 
So we have a mouse line there. And then we'll do the lips, right? So the center line for the face is like here. So that center V for the lip will be just under the middle of the nose. Say like there, right? And then the lips are curves that way. And it's kind of like a broken line, right? So you go. Like that. And then it's top lip kind of there. And so it's like they, they leave little gaps in it. And then his bottom lip kind of square. Across and up here. And like a bit of a shadow underneath. Now, so chin, he's got quite a like a big strong chin. So curving around this way. And this eventually comes his becomes his jaw on that side. Proportion of this face, right? Eyebrow to nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin. Right, so we're looking up at him. So here to here is about the same. And then nostrils to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So here and here are about the same. Okay, so that's base and that's base are about the same. And then that's base and that's base are about the same height. Okay. And jaw just goes up this side. Okay, they leave a little bit of a gap and then they do a line up towards his ear. Now we're different on both sides because we're in three quarter pose. So you have a jaw on this side and then you have a cheekbone on this side. So it goes different, right? So it kind of like curves in towards the mouth at first. It goes in that way, but then it changes direction, and goes out around his cheek, right? So it goes out. around that cheek and up towards the corner of his eye underneath his hair right so it kind of disappears under his hair there now if you he didn't have long hair you would go into the corner of the eye and then back out around the brow and back up for the forehead so his ear right so we got his ear lobe here about in line with the nostrils, see that? And the top of his ear curves around here, about in line with his eye. And then this will go around, like so. And then you can add ear lines inside. So the easiest way to get these things started is like a letter J sort of shape. And then you can add more detail if you would like. And they do attack on Titan hatching lines inside the ear. So then we have sideburns just there. And then we have to do his fringe. Okay. So he's got all these fringe lines that part in the middle, right? So the center line for his head is like here somewhere. So you'll have this like V just in the middle. And then a couple of spikes just come in this way for his hairline. And then we have fringe lines that go in opposite directions. So we go first that way, then that way. Okay, and these like come over and around his eyes. So we just build that up now. Right. A couple of fringe spikes here, and we can actually see his ear on the other side here. I forgot that. Just kind of skinny, 
sticks out the other side of his head. And then more hair comes out from behind it. Okay, let me just keep going around. And this will go like off the top of my page, but if you have more room, you could just go around to the back of the head. It just curves over. Okay, and then more hair spikes just going this way. Across the eyebrow. here and then another one that curves this way towards the eye I see, you just kind of keep adding them until you fill up the space to the sideburn. And then it, his hair goes around from behind his ear, sort of like, it's kind of shorter at the back. So it's kind of like just bumpy with like little spikes and stuff. Sticking off like little tufts of hair at the back. And it kind of like curves over that way. And like the little texture lines just there. Whereas hair parts. Maybe texture lines on his sideburn there, it looks like. Okay, so that's his hair, right? Shorter Aaron Yeager hair. So then he's got a real long neck, right? So it like comes down from the ear, the back of the neck here. He looks like a, like a Greek statue. It's like a statue of David. They model it off. <laughs> and then like his hair at the back. You know Michelangelo's David, you know that? Italian statue. And then his neck muscle sort of like goes down that way. Real long. And then another neck muscle here. And his Adam's apple in there. And then his trapezius goes that way. And he's got a trapezius on this side, just his neck muscle that connects to your back. It's called the trapezius. And then his collar sort of runs this way and his shoulder just goes off the page basically. So they don't add, is that his collarbone? Maybe. They don't have much more in the way of muscle. But that's about it. How to draw? Oh no wait, I was nearly done. We have more of that hatching. Like, so I think he's got like a neck muscle or something there as well. Cabin Aaron from Mikasa's Dream. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.